Hello everyone. This is a drawer full of pens that need attention. And I just can't remember. I haven't looked in this drawer for a while to know what attention it needs. But let's try to figure that out. This one is a Schaefer. These are all Schaefer's, so those of you that want to see Waterman's, you'll have to wait for another another time. Um, I'm just trying to figure out which ones of these actually need attention on which I can sell. This one looks like I don't need to do anything with it. it seems just fine as is. So why is it in this drawer? These, this is supposed to be in a different drawer. Schaefer Touchdown from the 50s. Let's get our scratch paper out here. What's your name over there? Or your name? Who? Someone tell me their name. Bernice? Bernice? Okay, Bernice. E-R-N-I-C-E. -E. Bernice. A pen like this, um, Triumph Nib, most of the time will not be flexible. But what's great about Triumph Nibs are the sort of uptur upturned snout of the nib, the Waverly nib it was called. And a pen like this is one that I almost always can hand to a lefty, whether they are a pusher or a hooker, whether they write like that or like this. Um, and especially if they write with a hook, I'll say, well, this, this pen will be perfectly fine for you. So there we go. Bernice, are you left-handed? This is your pen. So, good. Done. Working. Put that over there in the working pile. Let's see what else we have. This needs a nib. Schaefer Jr. And a pressure bar. And a sack. This needs way too much work for me to deal with right now. Let's see. That needs a nib. M.W. Stanton, this is your pen. Um, those of you who know pens will know that this has the wrong section in it. So let's see if I can put the correct section in it. I have a section that fits. Um, sometimes I'll replace a short section when it's supposed to have a longer section. Um, if the threads are not engaging until you screw down too for too much, so I will put a a more a shorter section in for that to get the threads to work. So this needs this this particular section belongs in an early Schaefer pen. This is the right barrel for that. This is not the right cap. Or is it the right cap? Here where I have to there. See this it's supposed to have that kind of section. A long section, not a short one. So now I've forgotten where I was. See what you've made me do? See this is missing a lever. So let's just see. Can I take this out and put this in here without breaking it? See, and that's what I was telling you. See, this could screw on forever and never engage, which is why I put the why I put the the other. See, this works though. This has some chips or cracks in the cap lip, but at least it's 
the right pen in the right place. So maybe I have a different cap for this. So this is ready to, to be a nib put in. Um, okay, let's see, what does this one do? This needs a nib. Some corrosion there. Just ignore that one for the moment. Did I try this one? I did try this one. This is the one that swims on it, right? Yes. So much fun going through these things. Okay, let's find another happy, happy one. This one needs a nib. And I know I have nibs for this pen, so that will go in the find a nib for it drawer. I guess that's what this drawer was. See? Nibs. That's what this tray meant. But, uh, oh, it needs a pressure bar as well. One more hurdle. Oh, this is cracked right there. That's not good. So, that's too bad. Isn't it? I hate when I find things like that. <sighs> Makes me sad. Okay, a 325. Schaefer needs a nib. Okay, everything else fine. Needs a sack and a nib. So I will put this in, where's my other pen that needed a sack and a nib? I just had it here, right here. Sack, nib, pressure bar. Okay, set that there. Um, see if I can find another pen that Schaefer Jr. needs a nib. This is a pen that really needs a good home. That's what was left of the sack. One of my pen collector friends said that he would refer to a sack in that condition as ossified. And another pen collector friend of mine who was a doctor, medical doctor, said, oh, really? Did that sack turn to bone? Which is what happens when something is ossified. Um, some people say petrified, which doesn't mean that that sack turned to stone either, but um, it gets old, old and hard and crumbles. So no one's going to complain with that about that. So this needs a nib. Now this is a pen that one that has a nib will make any writer happy. It won't make a pen collector happy because of its brassing and all the problems that it has, but I'm not talking to pen collectors here. I'm talking to users. So a user will be happy with this pen. It's like a pickup truck with a dent in it in the fender. Doesn't make any difference. The dent won't keep the truck from hauling the rubbish to the dump. So this will do a perfectly good job of going to the dump. And I know a lot of you people are saying that's where it belongs. Well, I'm not talking to you. You talk amongst yourselves about how perfect the world is supposed to be. Okay, this one needs a section. See, now this is a pretty pen. There's nothing wrong with this. Maybe this section and feed can go in here. Do you think? Doesn't seem to want to fit. So I'll find a section for this one because this is otherwise even a pen collector might like this. Even, even you over there might like that pen. I'll see if I can fix it for you. Okay, this one needs a nib. Nice big T 
teeth tooth mark there. Boy, really good teeth on that person that owned owned this pen once upon a time. So this needs a nib. Does this fit down here? It does. You know this pen, I'm just looking at I don't know if you can see, but someone, as you can see, whittled with their jackknife, whittled down the dimension of the of the section to make it fit. So it is something that would make a pen collector unhappy, uh, a pen user might not find that a problem. In fact, what I'll do, I'm just going to keep this for myself. I'll put a nice nib in it. That little flaw that would bother you and you and you and you. You'll never have to see it. So that'll be a keeper. That'll go in my little bin. Because I wouldn't want to offend any of you by selling you a pen that has the wrong thing on it. Okay, this. I just had the parts for this that was in a broken one. Remember that? Because this, there's nothing wrong with this. This is perfectly fine. Where's the rest of it? Does, does this fit in here? It looks like it will without breaking. Does the cap screw on? No. See, that's the problem. Does this cap screw on? No. Where's it? I had another cap for this pen. Where did that go? No. No. So this is a time when finding a section that is slightly shorter would make this pen work. Now, see, like that, even though this doesn't belong in this pen, now it works. See how simple that was? Let's see if it works by actually making contact with the inner cap though. That's the... What I'm doing is I'm... If that screws... Yeah, see this I can make work. And again this is something that some of you are not going to like. But I'm making the pen work. It could sit here in this drawer forever and never work. Would that make you happy? No. So now I can make it work. And this might be a pen that I'll use for myself. It has a name on it. Does it have a name on it? No. Um, that I'll, I'll use for myself and um, its problem, quote, problem, will be known only to me. And I'll say, gee, I saved this pen from oblivion. See, there's a crack right there. That doesn't bother me either. I mean, it does, but it doesn't bother. It will bother you and you and you and you. But I'll be able to use the pen right here at my desk forever without a problem. Okay, let's see if I can find other things to fix for you that you'll like. Sections. These need sections. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh. This is a wasp pen. 
I'm going to see if I can fix this for myself. This is one of these pens that had a rubber sack on the inside of it, but this part was clear. And the sack was uh, glued. Once half of the sack was glued here and the other half was glued here. And you were able to, to fill the pen. You twist the sack. You wring it out like a washcloth. You twist it back, put it back, and it's full. And you'd see if it had any ink in the pen by looking through the clear part back there. So what that meant is, unfortunately, that the you have to glue the sack at both ends. So this is probably a screw section, so I'll try to figure out how that works. It's a wasp vacuum fill, which is not really how it works, but... Come on, are you going to unscrew or what? Supposed to unscrew. Well, I'm going to put that over here. That'll go in a, my fix for myself apartment. This is a Univer pen or a it's a vacuum fill pen. Again, made by the Schaefer Pen Company. Um, I'll keep that for myself. It's a very rare, it's a rare pen. The color is blue and sort of cream. Um, and I'll, I'll fix that for myself. Okay. This one needs a nib. Oh, look, I've got two of them. Here's another one. So one of these I'll keep and one of these I'll sell. Somehow I like the one that's in shittier condition. Why do I like this one better? See, this one has teeth marks. I often will keep the keep the pen that's crappier in my collection and sell the better one to you and you and you. Okay, this needs a nib. That's all that needs, right? Nothing wrong with that thing. Needs a nib. Where are my nibs? This has a nib. What does this need? A sack. I'm a sucker for these pens. I really like these tortoiseshell uh, pearl and black things. They make me smile. The nib is really... This is a typical Schaefer nib. Hard and medium. So, anyway, I'll fix this, and that goes in the sale bin. I looked at that one already. This one. This one has... needs a nib, obviously. Um, this has a crack in the cap lip somewhere, right there. Um, Sometimes cracks and cap lips bother me. Other times they don't. Um, some, I don't know. I'm funny that way. Yeah. This is this is interesting. Um, sometimes you saw Schaefer pens that had incised lines further up on the barrel. And I think that was for people that liked to hold the pen further back. And I like that option. I wish more companies did that. This 
nib maybe I can put somewhere else. Okay, this one. What's wrong with this one? Needs a section of nib. I looked at that already. Okay, let's look back down here. A lot of nice teeth marks. Oops, see this is what happens sometimes. See what that's doing? It's just decayed. It's like cotton candy. Not cotton candy, like sugar candy. See? It's just coming apart. So, uh, hence, um, the cap is good though. Maybe the cap can go on a different pen. Does the cap fit on here? Fits on here better than the other one did. So there we go. What about this one? Tooth marks. This needs a sack. This will screw on when I, when the sack when the section is pushed down all the way. Well, there's a lot of teeth marks here and not any down here, so chances are the barrel that is supposed to go with that cap has been... There we go. Can we? Can I do a switcheroo here? Yes. Yes. There we go. Now they... Now these teeth marks match those teeth marks. And this person took their dentures out when they were writing letters because no teeth marks. See? Perfect. Okay. Well, needs a lever. So, what do you think about this? Can I take this out of this and just put it in here and then I'm call it a day. That needs a pressure bar. This one. See, here's another one that has decayed at the end. Um, I hate when that happens. Looks fine now, though. Just post it and you won't have a problem. Clarence Kelly. What's wrong with this pen? Needs a pressure bar, I think. Now, see, this seems tight. Maybe I've got. Maybe I have a different section I can put in here. The barrel is fine. Do I have a cap to fit it? No. No. I want to make this pen work. That fits it. It's a ring top. Look at that. There we go. So I just need a ring top for this one. So I'll fix this for myself. Actually, this isn't the right section. Come to think of it, it's supposed to have a short section on this pen. There, see, just fixed it. So 
I need a ring top on that. That needs to go there. A rig, a ring transplant. That's all it needs. And a sack. The nib on this one will be, I'm sure, looks like it's a typical Schaefer. Yep, typical Schaefer nib. Well, I'll put that in the keeper pile. Um, I have a, in my collection, I have a drawer, well, part of a drawer full of pens like this. Again, I just like the way they look. Okay, another, this seems really scratchy. I may have to fix that nib. Hold on, let's take a look. Looks just fine. Why? It's just really, really fine, that's why. Does it work? Needs a sack. This in the needs a sack department. I these kinds of pens I often have to also replace a the O ring, so I I put those in a pile by themselves so I can do that all together one day on a cloudy rainy day. <clears throat> this is a little Schaefer lady's pen. That lady had some nice teeth. She only chewed the cap. What can I say about that Watson? Why would she only to the cap and never the bottom. Maybe these don't belong together. Or maybe she didn't like the taste of hard rubber. She only liked the taste of gold fill. This is a much more modern nib in this pen than what should be here. It fits fine, though. Um, it'll it'll work for someone. There's something very masculine about these Schaefer ladies' pens. There's something very bull, bulldogish. Uh, I like them for that reason. Okay, where's my sack department? Okay, what do we have here? What does this need? This is really loose. Now, I bet I probably have a section that would fit this pen better. It looks like the threads are really worn, but the cap screws on perfectly fine, so that's kind of a surprise. I wouldn't have thought that. Um, well, I'll fix this. I'll put that in the need the sack bin. I may see here's some other pens that can go in this bin. See here's one of these again. The 
this just needs a nib put on it but this nib is more modern than the one that it should have so put that with that this one nothing wrong with this needs a nib crack lip crack lip crack right there Needs a lever. I looked at this pen. Now I'm starting to see double. This one, we haven't looked at this one. This is a snorkel. I don't fix snorkels. So I'm just going to save this for someone who does. Does it work? No. Okay, snorkel goes in the snorkel bin. Okay, what's this thing? This is going to have another one of those shaper nibs that I don't like. H. Bewick. Bewick. Very stiff, firm nib. Needs a sack. Has a little cap lip crack. This cap fits on it fine. See, this is cracked up there, though. Anyway, this is fine. There are people that do fix cap lip cracks. Um, they use acetate and stuff, so maybe I'll give them a call and see if they can fix this for me. Okay, what's wrong with this pen? Other than the, it has to be put together. Do I have a cap to fit this. This is very tight. Sometimes I'm afraid of pushing down too hard. See, that one doesn't even fit. Because if you push down too hard, you'll probably push down really hard there. It didn't break. Why does this not want to go in? Do I have a cap for this after all this hard work? Fits on that one. Do I have another cap? There we go. See this, this cap doesn't engage. This one does engage. That one does engage, so now both pens are happy just by doing a little nib, uh, just by switching the caps. Now, see? This is shorter than this, though, isn't it? So, this might, this may need to have a shorter cap to be 100% correct. But if I don't have a shorter cap, I'll just leave it the way it is because it's working. Again, it could be in my drawer, ignored, or it could be in my hands, filled with ink, writing beautiful poetry. You know? Except I don't know how to write beautiful poetry. My phone is now telling me that my battery is low. So let me see if I can plug it in.
I'll stop this pretty soon. Anyway, I could spend all day long, and I have spent many days going through a drawer like this and trying to make pens work. And the reason that the pens are always taken apart like this and piled in a heap is I get distracted in the middle of doing repairs and I just dump all the parts in a thing and then I have to sort it all out later. Where did the other cap go for this thing? Is that it? See, this can go on here. Okay, so this is fine. No, that doesn't fit. Doesn't engage the threads. That doesn't engage the threads. Where's the one that worked? I had it here a minute ago. I'm being distracted again. Here's a, another wasp pen. Um, Schaefer made pens under the wasp name. William A. Schaefer was W-A-S-P. Um, this needs a pressure bar, otherwise fine. Where's my only need a pressure bar tray? Okay, I'm trying to find the other. Let's go back and see if I can find this one I'm looking for. Okay, I'm looking for the chrome trimmed pens. That's a chrome trimmed pen. I should just put all the chrome trimmed pens in a baggie. Marked chrome trimmed pens. How difficult would that be, do you think? I had two caps. Oh, one of them was on the thing already. Okay, so that cap works on both. Hmm. Well, it worked before. I don't know why it's not working now. And we have another chrome barrel somewhere that I misplaced. What does this need? It needs the right cap and a pressure bar. No. I could see that wasn't going to work without even having to try it on. Come on, cap. There. Is that the right cap? I think it is. Does this, have, this might have a feather touch nib, though. Feather touch. This is a lifetime this needs a lifetime nib, so we need to find the right barrel for that, or right nib for this. Close, sorry. This needs a nib. What's wrong with this pen? Oh, I see. It's that's chipped. It's a nice cap. Okay, what does this need? Nothing. A sack. This is an early Schaefer hard rubber pen. Um, the nib that I placed in it is 
more modern than the pen, but again, I can make it work for someone. And if they want to, somewhere down the line, find the right nib, they're welcome to do that. So this needs a sack. It's ready to go. And this is again starting to craze and it'll turn to mush. Sooner than later, I think, at this point in time. This doesn't belong in here. Eagle. An eagle pen. Well, I'll keep this for myself. I have a collection of eagle pens. They made some really high quality pens. And some that were not very high quality. Did I just look at this one? I did. Can I just... This cute little thing, this is a golfer pen. This was meant to be taken out on the golf course. It would fit in your knickers, your bloomers, whatever they're called, your plus fours. Um, it's, it's neat, this one, as you can see, if I can line it up correctly, maybe. There's a chip, a circular chip, out of the cap. And there's a circular mark right there. I bet what happened right there, you see? A tiny meteorite hit this man. He was taking his score. He got a hole in one. First time that ever happened on that hole that golf course and as he was writing down no he could as he was taking the pen out the cap was screwed on a meteorite hit causing that perfectly round crater and it went through the cap lip right there see that's a story I'm gonna go with that so I'll keep that just I have a collection of pens that have uh, broken bits, and I like the story that I just came up with. I think that's a pretty good story. Now this cap belongs with... No. Here's another early Schaefer pen. Look at that. I'm going to keep this one. I'm just going to keep it. I can tell right now. It's early hard rubber pen. Schaefer number two self-filling nib. I'm my best customer, by the way. Look at that. Yay. Put that in the keep. I, what I'll do one day is I'll just pull out a drawer of pens that I threw in the keeper pile. You saw me just add six or eight of them just in this last 43 minutes. And I do that all the time. And then I put them in with the collection. And then I realize I already have one. So then they come back out into this drawer and then I forget it. And then I, here's another Schaefer self-filling. Hard rubber pen, Schaefer clip. Ooh. See, another keeper. I know you want this, you and you and you. I know you want this. Yeah, tell Daddy how much you want it. Yeah, tell Daddy. Anyway, I want it too. This one. Maybe these are pens that I... Maybe I put them, put them in this drawer by mistake. This is a nib that maybe is missing its iridium. I 
I've looked at this pen already. Anyway, I think that's been enough of my enjoyment here. See this, here's a, here's a Schaefer number two self-filling nib that is not broken. So I'm going to put that into the pen I just had. I just had it here, this one. Or do I just put the cap on this? Can I call that a day? The, the pattern on the chasing may be different. This is little squares. This one is zigzag. So what does this cap have? The cap has little squares. So this one does belong here. So I might just do a nib switcheroo. That doesn't fit. Where's the cap to this one? These are both hard rubber. Hard rubber. See, these match. See how much fun I have in my house in the morning? It's not even 7 o'clock. Well, it's probably 8 o'clock. This goes with that. Hard rubber. Is this hard rubber? So this goes with this. And what does it need? A sack. Some of these Schaefer pens that are not lifetime, this is a 325 pen, I think. Number three nib guaranteed for 25 years. No, this is a st student special. These were made for students. This says 325 here, but same difference maybe. Um, and the nibs were somewhat cheaper, thinner, thinner gold, but the thinner gold made for a flexible nib. So this is a flexible nib pen. I'll put a sack in that. Sell it to you. You're too cheap. You wouldn't want to buy it, but you will. Some people are too cheap. Here's another hard rubber pen. Maybe one of these nibs can go in that. Um, some people are cheap. They, they buy pens, they collect pens, but actually what they do is they collect bargains. There's one guy that I would meet at the flea market. You know, was brag by showing me the pens he just bought and he'd tell me how much he got them for. Actually, he never told me that, but he would always tell me show me the pens he bought. And he would then come to the pen show, well, he would go to the flea market first and then go to the pen show. And he'd say, anything good here? And I said, yeah, there's lots of good stuff. That table's full of good stuff. Oh, I'm not interested. He only wanted to buy pens that were cheap. And that really, he collected bargains. He didn't collect pens. So this needs a bigger section. Older section. Yeah. So where, where do I find one of those? Here. Anyway, I think it's time for me to go. I've spent, I've wasted enough of your time, right? So, see you later. Bye.